The episode opens at the castle. Kanisha is taken to the Queen's throne by Tridentin de Neraris. Tridentin, your majesty, this outside was found by the uh, school. The Queen, state your name and your purpose of entering our realm. Kanisha raised her head in order to see a woman who has long white hair, brown skin, wearing a crown with pearls on top, pink top, and blue mermaid tail. While holding a staff, her name is Queen Yukiko. Kanisha understood. Kanisha, your majesty, I only, I only came to enjoy your realm. I am not here to cause any harm. Yukiko, state your species and show your abilities to be able to go through our defenses without being noticed. Kanisha, mutant, I am a human with supernatural abilities. Transforms into her mermaid self and transmits to her human self. Queen Yukika, other abilities show them. Guards call out Zasu. The guards look surprised and rang a bell. Kanisha looking determined. Fine, you want me to face a monster? Bring it on. Queen Yukika, no, you misunderstand. I did not call a monster to test you, a friend. Kanisha looking cautious. A friend? What kind of friend? A person appears. Kanisha grabs this person by the tail with her snake tail and makes a sword appear. Kanisha with her sword. Are you Zazu? Zazu, my, my, what evil looking eyes. Would you perhaps be the mutant Kanisha, aka the outsider? Sasu is revealed to be a girl who has long red hair with a hint of brown, wearing a scarf, hoop earrings, pink bikini, oh, and mermaid tail with bat like wings, which are actually fins. Kanisha with her sword close to Sasu's face. I am, and are you trembling? Afraid I might kill you. Sassy looking at Kanisha's orange slash purple aura. I can see your auras, and if the other one is in control, you would do that. Zasu touches Kanisha's head with her forehead. Dear, come back to your senses. Your human half isn't gone yet. Let your foot. Let my voice guide you. Come, come. Kanisha's orange aura glows brighter and angel wings appear along with a circle. Kanisha gets up. I mean, Zasu gets up. Seems my instinct was right. Touches Kanisha's hair. Kanisha looks at Zasu and then passes it out in her arms. Queen Yukiko, why Zasu? We must get rid of her. Her power is much too dangerous. Zasu. Not so fast, your majesty. Her soul has been damaged, but she won't cause any trouble. Let me keep her in my home. Queen Yukiko, looking where? Are you sure you can contain her powers? Sasu touches Kanisha's chest. Yes, after all, she is still a young soul. Queen Yukiko, young soul. Sasu, don't worry. I will take good care of her. Queen Yukiko, fine. I will allow it, but she is now your responsibility. Zasu, Zasu holding Kanisha in her arms. Thank you, your majesty. Zasu and a flash disappear. Nararas, your majesty, are you sure it is wise to leave the outsider with her? Queen Yukika, don't worry. If Zasu says she is harmless, then she is. The screen shows the cave. Kanisha waking up to see Zasu. Kanisha. Uh, what's going on? Zasu, don't worry, you are safe, young one. No, just relax. Kanisha slowly gets up. So what happens now? Zasu, the queen said you are my responsibility. So think wisely about what you are going to do around here. Kanisha, I just wanted to have fun. Is that possible? Zasu, depends on what you mean by fun. Kanisha, honestly... Swim well, Holly. Eat food and relax. Zasu, that does seem harmless. Kanisha looking happy. So can I go? 
Sasu, yeah, but a purple light glows. A necklace appears and Sasu puts it around Kanisha's neck. Zasu, this will tell me if you get into any trouble. Just try to be safe. Kanisha, I will. Kanisha changes back into a mermaid. Swimming is more comfortable. Points to the right this way. Zasu, that makes sense. Humans don't normally swim down this far like you are. Kanisha, I will be back. Starts to swim off. Zasu, have fun. The screen shows Kanisha swimming back to the school and sees Holly. Holly smiles at Kanisha and swims to her, Holly holding her hand. Kanisha, I thought you were sent to the dungeon. Kanisha, I thought it would, that would happen to me. But it seems I have been taken under the wing of Zazu instead. Holly, surprised. Wait, Zazu, the fortune teller? Kanisha, yeah. Holly, that's surprising. She normally doesn't do that often. Kanisha, so where should we swim to? Holly, how about the mall? Kanisha was stars in her eyes. The mall. Holly, taking Kanisha's hand, swim. Yeah, follow me. They make it to the mall. The building has seashells on the roof. It has a global door and many windows. There is a statue of the queen. Kanisha's eyes widen. Whoa. Holly, taking Kanisha's hand. Let's go. I have so many places to show you. Kanisha and Chance. So many places? The episode ends.